All right, let's talk about workspaces in VS Code. Now, reading the documentation and trying to figure this out on your on your own can be uh, quite confusing. So I hope that uh, this video makes things uh, clearer. Okay, so there are essentially three types of workspaces uh, in VS Code. You have what's called the single folder, and the official documentation doesn't call this a workspace, but I think it's just easier to think of a single folder as a workspace as well. So I'm just going to call it a single folder workspace, and this is a legacy feature in VS Code. And then you have implicit workspaces and explicit workspaces. And the only difference between the two is that with an explicit workspace, you actually have a file, so a dot .code uh, workspace file, in which you have this object, this JSON object, and uh, you have settings, extensions, launch, uh, configurations, and tasks. And in an implicit workspace, you don't have these things. You just have the folders, right? But we'll I'll, I'll show you everything step by step. Okay, so uh, first things first, and let's start by um, opening a folder, right? Because it's the, the first thing you can do. And with this, if you open the Explorer sidebar, so let's open a folder and because we're opening a folder, we will actually be in the single folder workspace state, right? So let's let's do that. So let's open a folder here. Actually, I should cut this because um, it will go away when I open this folder. All right. Whoops. There we go. Now we are in the single folder workspace, right? And that means that <coughs> you will have, <coughs> excuse me, your extensions uh, .json file, your launch configurations in a launch.json file, and your tasks in a tasks.json tasks file inside the .vs code folder. Now, you'll also have your settings.json file inside this folder right here. The, the difference being that <clears throat> if you're in a single folder workspace state, these settings can both be workspace and folder or repository level settings, however you want to call this, right? Um, and this, this can be quite confusing because if you right click this empty space right here and you choose remove folder from workspace, now you have an implicit workspace with no folders, right? But if you re-add the, the same folder, now you are not in the single folder workspace state you're actually in the implicit workspace state. And the consequence is that you still have inside your .vs code folder everything that you had before, but the settings.json file now can only have folder slash repository level settings. Workspace level settings do not work in a settings.json file anymore. So let me show you that. <clears throat> so <clears throat> let me um, open the settings. I'll just copy everything and I have um, every single setting in VS Code is on my settings.json file. So I'll just copy everything and create a, a new file here. Call it settings.json, copy, save. And there's just something here which is uh, this object right here. I'm just going to delete this one because it's just too long. I don't want to scroll that much. All right. So now if we go through the settings, we will see that, remember, in uh, an implicit workspace, you cannot have workspace level settings in the settings.json file. So take a look at what happens breadcrumbs.enabled. 
This setting cannot be applied now. It will be applied when you open this folder directly. Well, the, this description is not very helpful and um, it has already been changed in the insiders version of VS Code, which means that pretty soon this description will be a little bit better. But what this actually mean means is that this setting only takes effect if you open this folder, not as part of an implicit workspace, but if you open the folder directly, it actually says that, right? But has a, a, a single folder. Um, so n n not being an implicit workspace, right? So this setting doesn't work here. And there are, there are a bunch more settings that don't work here. Now, if we, so let me just cut this again, because it, it will be gone when we close the work workspace. And now we will open the folder again, right? So we will still be, um, we will go back actually to the um, to the single folder uh, state and now if we open these settings huh now breadcrumbs.enabled works yeah it does because in a single folder workspace state works uh, workspace level settings apply right so this is why it, this m may be quite confusing for who who's uh, you know beginning uh, starting to work good with work with VS Code, okay. So in a single fol folder workspace, this settings.json file can actually have both workspace and folder slash repository level settings, uh, but they do not apply um, if you're in implicit or explicit workspace. Okay, so my recommendation is that uh, is that you never use workspace level settings in this file, right? Because, I mean, I don't usually do this, close folder. I just, I remove folder, add the new one. That's what I do, right? And I think this, it's just faster. And I, if I want to remove, add another folder, just add another folder here, like not going to open another window or, or anything. So I'm almost always working either with an implicit or with an explicit workspace. Okay, so my recommendation is do not put workspace level settings inside the settings.json file. And why do I call this an implicit workspace? I call this an implicit workspace because, or I guess implicit or unsaved workspace, you know, works, works uh, just as well. Um, it's implicit or unsaved, exactly for that reason uh it's it's unsaved because well it, it's not saved <laughs> you don't have a file that represents this workspace and it's implicit because um vs code automatically assumes this to be a workspace when when you uh, add a folder or remove a folder from uh, from this area and that turns it into a workspace automatically Right, and that it's it's because it's automatic that uh, it makes sense to call it implicit. So, what's an explicit workspace? Well, an explicit workspace, and let me cut this again, is when you do this, when you go like file, save workspace as. So let's actually save this thing, uh, and now we can actually. Actually, there's there's something I haven't figured out, and I left um, an issue on GitHub, on VS Code's GitHub, which is, if you noticed, uh, uh, if if you paid attention, I uh, uh, I was intending to save this dot code workspace file inside this folder, but it gets saved outside. Not exactly sure why, so let's put it inside. It shows up here, but then you actually have to mend the path to just dot like the present folder not uh under which which is the uh, uh which is this folder but like the present folder so workspace starts here and you know this is actually a problem i haven't solved that i will talk about later um 
but uh, we'll, we'll get there. Okay, so now notice that I, we save this this explicit workspace and exp is it's explicit because it's in a file and we have a settings key we have um, if we try to autocomplete we have an extensions key we have launch configurations we have remote authority is actually only used internally so uh, that there isn't even a even a description here so this will be I think it was already removed in the insiders insiders version so it won't be here uh, for much longer. And then we have the tasks. And these are all settings, extensions, launch configurations, and tasks at the workspace level, right? Not at the uh, repository level or folder level, whatever you want to call it. And um, now, actually, let me paste. Oh, I lost it. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Um, so, um notice that these settings are only the workspace level settings and a vs code was smart enough to go into this file right here and it took only the settings that uh, are workspace level settings and it put them here right didn't put any other ones right so you see that everything from breadcrumbs until comments that open panel so until here right and then the next one is css trace server so if we scroll back scroll down the next one is css trace server and then all the debug settings right so all the um workspace level settings are in this file and you can just you know if you turn this into if, if you uh, are coming from a single for folder workspace and you're creating a, an explicit workspace you can do this uh, vs code will automatically put these settings here and now you can just delete this one these ones right all right now notice that there are some settings that still don't make sense to be here nor here but they weren't copied so uh, let me show you what those settings are uh, let's see. Um, I guess OSX. Right. So, for example, uh, terminal external OSX exec. So, um, the setting can be applied only in application user settings. So, there are three levels of settings user settings, which are the ones that are applied to all workspaces or single folders. Uh, workspace settings, which are applied to all folders inside a workspace, and folder level settings or repository level settings, however you want to call it, that are only applied to that particular folder or repository, right? So we have these three levels. All right. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is the following. The concept of a workspace hierarchically is above the concept of a folder right so it makes sense like if i open um, my repos folder i have all my repositories here right and it, it it doesn't make much sense to have this file here unless it's a workspace that contains a single folder like it is now so i guess this makes sense right but what happens when you actually have a workspace that contains several folders well then it would make sense for this file to be outside this folder right so it would it would be in parallel with this folder so let's say um i could um you know create a workspace that contain both these repositories now that file doesn't wouldn't make much sense inside any of these folders because these paths are relative right so <clears throat> it wouldn't make much sense to do something like this um, paths like the, the the path of the first folder is the folder where where, where uh, we are at 
and the path of the second folder would be something like <coughs> go a folder up and then go a folder down like uh, VS Code settings for example right it doesn't make much sense right I mean it's not it's not very consistent so um, what makes sense is having this um, a code workspace file in parallel with both both these folders now the problem I haven't yet solved uh, but as soon as I have an answer I will re-record this video is how do you keep a dot code workspace file um, source controlled how do you share it with your team through github if they by definition are supposed to be outside a repository open question i don't know the answer to that if you do by the way please leave a comment down, down below and i'll just re-record this video i hope this was useful i hope you have uh, a clear mental model for uh, how vs code deals with workspaces and the issue with the legacy single folder and uh, that's pretty much it let's move on on to other topics <laughs>